Okay, all the comments was crazy. Uh, I mean, all of them are really good. A lot of people are talking about the vlogs, a lot of people are talking about how cool it is, you know, to give a shirt uh, for Dirt Mag, as well Dirt Mag commenting the, the thing. And uh, I like that one. Oh, you're back. Yeah, I just got back from New Zealand last night, three o'clock in the morning. Uh, quite a bit of driving from Barcelona to Andorra and uh, woke up early this morning. Obviously, time change. A little bit wrecked right now. And uh, what did I do? Oh, yeah, I did my vlog this morning. I had to finish the trip. Then I had to finish that, upload it. And uh, Papito made me do some painting on the terrace. How was the trip? The trip to come back or the full trip? No, the full trip in New Zealand. Oh, the full trip was gnarly. I stink. Um, um, it was crazy because I was expecting, you know, to go camping right away. And I was like, okay, it's going to be probably, you know, nice tents and good weather. And no, just raining and raining. And it was like uh, sleeping outside, you know, it's one thing. You think you recover, but. Uh, you actually don't sleep like as good as on the bed but like this was really good you know the bus was gnarly you see all different places in New Zealand it was good because I didn't know the country so much meet great people and riding on those group rides man it was gnarly some p cool people was just there you know wanted to have the East Side story what were you doing on the racing and uh, what do I do now uh, they're really happy I come to the group because I can teach they can ask me anything and it's a good one hour and a half, two hours, usually with locals who give you the best trails. This was definitely epic because it's definitely um, trails that we have a hard time to find if I was alone. And uh, as well, riding with a group of 45 or 50 people is another story. It's so, it's so good. And we had a lot of kids too in there. Uh, people of my age, like 30s and up. And uh, we got quite of a young ones, like 17, 18, couple of 20s. No school? Yeah, no, I think uh, one mom bring it uh, and they tell the school like you couldn't go to school because you have to ride with professionals. Amazing. The mom was stuck to bring the kid. The kid was happy. One guy came. He just came to the school, put his bike, pretend he's going to school, but never went. He took his bike after everyone went in. He took the bike and left and come with us riding. It was, it was cool. The story, the guy was like, oh, no, I have to go. <laughs> It was pretty cool. No, that's definitely riding with the people, meeting the people is definitely um, really good because you can educate them uh, or how to be a better rider. What do we use these materials over this one or that? They I can ask you uh, basically everything. You know, you're there for them and you have to laugh as well. And you want them to go back home with a good, uh, I mean, good impression. The the, the rule person, the, the the real person you are. Because sometimes with media, when you're racing and stuff, you have an idea of. I is a rider, but uh, sometimes when you meet them, you're like, oh, it's totally wrong impression I had. And I think this is really cool as well. And, you know, just sharing, giving back to the guys what we learned. If you had one thing to remember forever, which part was it? The best part? And the best part is when uh, f uh, at 12 o'clock we just fall in sleep. One guy passed with a... Uh, in front of the camping uh, close to the river and we have all those tents and Josh had an idea to make our tent a little bit higher in the, in the little hill and I was like I was thinking that's stupid because it's far from the truck and at night you have bush everywhere you probably crash when you go and take a piss <laughs> and it was good because at 12 o'clock one guy came and basically slalom flat out with the car at night with a big uh, pickup truck but in the morning when we saw the tire tracks on the ground, they were so close to the tent. Everyone freaked out, didn't know if they... I mean, like, you, everyone was sleeping really, like, dead. Like, everyone was thinking it was a dream, and when they saw the light going through the tent, like, big light from the car, everyone get up, everyone was scared. We were thinking that people, we steal our bikes, and 
that was funny because after that we all went to bed and the only thing that Josh say uh, to Mark Scott was just taking a piss outside and couldn't even properly talk because he was too he was deeply in in sleep and Josh is like hey you get in your tent or I, or I have you <laughs> and I was like what what do you mean He's like oh I have you and uh, seven skin told me when I ha when someone have you is like when someone would go for you and kill you and punch you and I was like we start laughing and yeah it was pretty cool we all had great moments like this so it's not only one they have so many okay then the one that you can't really take you can't really talk about it mm. oh yeah my birthday cake yeah we cannot talk about it it's pretty funny though. All right, good one. I think you have some homework to do. Now you're back home. Yeah. Um, a t-shirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. By the way, I wanted to show you because I went through uh, all the comments. Man, oh, every comment are super funny, you know, talking about the 20 years of Dot Mag. And uh, I mean, everyone is so different. It was really cool. And but really hard for me to pick one for the, the victory of the shirt because I have the shirt. Then, uh, yeah, we should, we should do it in the sofa there. I like that one. From Matthew Rogers. Dear Cedric, I am a short of cash and only have a vagina costume to wear. <laughs> this is causing a problem at work. As you can see, the t-shirt will, will make my life a little better. <laughs> this is pretty funny because uh, I used to have a vagina costume and I drive from uh, Los Angeles to Las Vegas. Uh, a big RV van with my friend Robin Bellucci. I'm like, dude, if the police catch us, he's not going to be happy because we were speeding with a big RV. And I'm like, oh. And I was like, oh, in the vagina. And the people, when they pass and then they see us, you know, yes, when you pass sometimes uh, RVs, you always look at the RV and they just could see a guy driving as a vagina costume. And we saw so many people just staying next to us and taking photos. It was pretty cool. All right, Matthew. Uh, we're going to send you a message. We need from you your address and we want to send the t-shirt. But I want to see, I want you to send us maybe a little video. If you don't have much time, just send a picture with a t-shirt with a cool position like this. We can use it as well. Well, thanks Dirt Mag. Definitely for all the goodies you're going to add uh, with uh, the book as well. This is super sick to have people like you, you know, jumping into the game. That's mint. That's definitely uh, tell a lot of you guys, and uh, that's why I think you get so many good comments on everything you know. And Twenty uh, for the twenty best years they had, and that's really cool. I'm just come from uh, come back from New Zealand. I'm not from New Zealand, no. Uh, I don't have Velcro gloves and boots, if you know what I'm talking about. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy all the vlogs. I try to share my life for months. That's what I want to do in the future. All the events, cover the events from the inside and my perspective like just being a spectator or sometime a racer and just give it to you no bullshit just like the real thing and uh, good things and bad things i guess bad things but uh, yeah it took a lot of time but i hope you guys enjoy it because that's mean uh, a lot to me and uh, yeah just don't hesitate and tell your friend to subscribe like i say i say every day it's free it's free when it's free you just do it all right it's easy. Just don't think. Go. Go, go. And uh, yeah, I will keep going and I will keep doing or trying to do better. But it has to happen because I'm going to do more and more every day. And that's it. I hope you enjoy it. Thanks again. Dirt, you guys rock. And uh, you guys did a killer job for all those 20 years. And then thank you for the MTB community of the outside of the space and coming to the world. No, no that was uh, Josh uh, B. Rad talking. <laughs>